Henry's lucky day. The winter holidays were coming and a thick blanket of snow covered the island of Sodor. Snowdrifts blocked the lines and the tracks were very slippery. The engines felt frozen from their funnels to their footplates. But Henry puffed happily through the snowy countryside. None of his lines were blocked. You are the only engines who have made your deliveries on time today, chuffed Thomas. You must have lucky trucks. Henry saw that none of the other engines were back. Maybe you're right. Maybe I do have lucky trucks, he puffed. That night, when the engines were all asleep, Henry thought how pleased he was to have lucky trucks. Now I will always be on time, puffed Henry. And that means I can be a really useful engine. But the next morning, when Henry went to the yard, his lucky trucks weren't there. Oh, no, chuffed Henry. Where are my lucky trucks? Edward took them, puffed Thomas. He needed trucks to take coal to the villagers. The fat controller arrived at the yard. Henry, I've got a very important special for you, said the fat controller. A delivery of presents has arrived at the airport. You must collect them and take them to the children in the villages. Henry puffed to the airport. But soon he was in trouble. Gordon's Hill was very icy. Every time Henry tried to puff up the hill, he slid back down again. I need my lucky trucks back, Henry huffed. I can't make my deliveries without them. Must find Edward, must find Edward, chuffed Henry. Henry couldn't find Edward anywhere. I'll never see my lucky trucks again, he sighed. But when he puffed into the frosty forest, there was Edward with Henry's lucky trucks. I found you, Henry chuffed excitedly. But he puffed too quickly. His wheels slid on the icy tracks. And he bit right into his lucky Oh no, I've broken my lucky trucks, groaned Henry. He sat sadly in the snow. I'm not going anywhere without my lucky trucks, huffed Henry. But they're broken, chuffed Edward. Henry puffed up Gordon's Hill. The track was very icy, his wheels started to spin, but Henry puffed harder and harder. He inched his way over the top of the hill. Soon, Henry arrived at the airport. He collected the presents and puffed across the island, making his deliveries. Now, Henry didn't think about his lucky trucks once. All he could think about was delivering the presents on time. Children were waiting at the station. Good old Henry, they cheered. Henry felt very proud. And he steamed along the track. Only one more delivery, puffed Henry. With or without his lucky trucks, Henry knew he mustn't let the children down. I've delivered all the presents, chuffed Henry happily. And without my lucky trucks, maybe the trucks weren't so lucky after all. But when Henry saw the children's smiling faces, he knew he was still the luckiest engine. <laughs>